Input and output devices. Input devices. In human being, input is given to the brain through the five sense organs. Eyes, nose, tongue, ears and skin. Similar to this, in a computer, input is given to the brain of the computer. CPU, through the input devices, to interact with the computer, we need input devices. An input device allows us to enter information to the computer. Keyboard is one of the most essential input device used to interact with the computer. Keyboard has many buttons called keys. Keystrokes on the keyboard is the most fundamental pieces of information sent to the CPU. Mouse is another essential input device used to interact with the computer. Mouse has two buttons left and right, and a scroll wheel. Clicks with the mouse is the most fundamental piece of information sent to the CPU. A light pen is a light sensitive computer input device. It is used to select text, draw pictures and interact with the computer screen or monitor. A joystick is an input device that is used for controlling the movement of the cursor in a computer. The cursor movement is controlled by maneuvering a lever on the joystick. Joystick is mostly used for gaming applications. A barcode reader also called a price scanner, is an input device used to capture and read information contained in a barcode. A barcode reader works by directing a beam of light across the barcode and measuring the amount of light that is reflected back. A scanner is a device that can be connected to a computer to capture images from photographs, posters, magazine pages, and store it in the computer. A microphone is an input device used by computer users to input any sound into their computers. Optical mark reader reads pencil or pen marks made in predefined positions on paper forms. They are used to read questionnaires, multiple choice examination paper in the form of lines or shaded areas. Optical character reader is an input device that reads and converts typed printed or handwritten characters into computer understandable form, so that the computer can manipulate it. Output Devices An output device is any device that receives data from a computer, usually for display to the users. Monitor A computer monitor is an output device, which displays information, in pictorial form. Printer A printer, is a machine that can be connected to a computer, to print information, on a paper. A plotter is an output device used for printing vector graphics. Plotters use a pen, pencil or marker to draw multiple, continuous lines onto paper. Speaker A speaker, is an output device, to produce sound. Without speaker, we can't hear, any sounds from the computer. A projector is an output device that projects an image or moving images onto a surface, such as walls or a projection screen. Headphone is an output device consisting of a pair of earphones joined by a band placed over the head, for listening to music or speech. Question time. Match the following. Hello students, I hope you all are doing well in this lockdown. Today we are going to begin with our second chapter for computers, role of computers. We call computer a multitasking machine. Computers today are used in almost all the fields. They are used for different purposes. Today let us see the different fields where computers are being used. Computers are used at home for an entertainment. We can draw pictures, listen to music, watch movies, 
and even play games on the computer. In the banks, computers are used to keep records of the cash. They also maintain customers account. Computers in hospitals are used to diagnose diseases, to keep records of the patient and information about the doctors. Computers in schools are used for teaching and learning. Teachers make presentation. Computers in shops are used to keep records of the items that are available in the shop. They also print bills. Computers at the airports and railway stations are used to keep records of the train. They also are used for booking tickets. In today's chapter, we are going to discuss about the usage of computer in the field of education. Computer plays a very important role in the field of education. Teachers and students use computers for teaching and learning. Teachers make use of presentation to make the topic more clear to learn and to understand. Today, a normal classroom has turned into a smart class or a digital class by the use of computer. Let us see what a smart class is. A smart class is a classroom where teaching and learning is done using a computer and other digital media. This classroom is also called as a digital class. Let us see what a digital class or a smart class consists of. It consists of a computer or a laptop. This is a controller from where you can conduct classes. A projector is connected to the computer. It shows information on a large screen that is visible to everyone in the room. A smart board or a digital board is an electronic touch screen. A classroom board is similar to this. A light pen is also called as a stylus. It is used to touch the smart board to give input to the computer. Computers are very useful in carrying out different class activities. A teacher can mark attendance for a particular child using a computer. A SMS is generated to the parent's mobile if a child is absent. A teacher can prepare their notes, presentations, videos using a computer. Teachers can also make use of computer to create worksheets. Let us discuss few subjects where teachers make use of computer. Computers are used in teaching different subjects. Let us discuss few of these subjects. Use of computers in English. It helps in learning correct pronunciation poems rhymes can be played number of times for practice we can also read lessons stored in the system computers in mathematics computers are useful in learning numbers and multiplication tables Online quizzes are also available to test your mathematical skills. We can also learn 3D images. Computers in moral science. We can learn moral values through pictures, stories displayed on the screen. Audio and video make stories more interesting and engaging. Use of computer in science. Using emails we can share the work assigned to us for a group activity. Video experiments can be downloaded and saved. Scientists 
also make use of computers for scientific research. Use of computer in general knowledge. Online quizzes can help students in better preparations. We can get useful information on different topics on the internet. Teachers can also conduct quiz competition using a computer. Thank you.